We can't go far unless we all go together. And that's what this whole day is about. Let's go together. The world is in a tough place. Food prices for people all over the world, the war in the Ukraine, and the economic scarring from COVID. But we're not talking about this amazing opportunity. Women are economic engines of growth. You're all here talking about inclusive economy. Without financial health, we will not be able to do it. The drumbeat on financial inclusion is a means to an end. Those ends are financial health, it's wealth, it's looking at what's real in people's lives. I said I'm gonna be a rock star. Hey. You better believe I'm a rock star. Hey. The energy is palpable. Everyone here is focused on this idea of what can I contribute to building a more inclusive, financially, economically prosperous future for all of us. We take for granted how much we can all grow, inclusively grow, yeah. if we cater to those who live in a world that hasn't catered to them. You don't realize you live in a world with stairs until somebody with a wheelchair comes along and says, hey, th th there's no ramp here. What's this fixation you able-bodied people have with <laughs> stairs? <laughs> If it's not inclusive, it's not going to scale. And if it doesn't scale, it doesn't matter. So inclusion cannot be a choice. Innovation needs to be by design. What is happening in a, or considered as low-income countries as a place where you have more innovation that is exported in markets which are supposedly more sophisticated. We have to design for poor women, our women. They always say that our courage is the capital. And I would say that their courage is our capital. I believe if you change the stories, you can change the world and you can change the culture. We want to increase black wealth in D.C. We want to create more black homeowners in D.C. Buying a little house in a, a good neighborhood changed my life. I called you a pro-growth mayor. Now I want to call you a pro-community, pro-equity, pro-growth mayor. Thank you. People need money and they need access to technology. They need access to electricity. They need connectivity and then they need skills. Indigenous peoples are the guardian of the most important ecosystem around the world. We are the peoples who are the most impacted by the climate change. We have to shift to renewables. We have to think about our own carbon footprint. It's in our shareholders' interest. We're facing a moment of extreme transformation all around us. And the big question is, are we going to be observers or are we going to be participants? Can we shape a better future for everyone? There are lots of leaders who are representing different sectors in the room. It's public, private, government, policy, all of those things coming together. We have to look at the development challenges we're trying to solve, graft our resources against them, and then look at who the other players are and, and how they can be brought in. Let's get together as a business community. And if we do our work in a new way, but in a consistent, passionate way, we have a window of opportunity to unstuck millions of people and come and, and join the humanitarian families. Support us everywhere and we can drive the best growing inclusive economy around the world.